I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com, and here's a tour of the Q148 VCA++ module. The Q148 VCA++ is not only a voltage-controlled amplifier, it's also a left-right panner with voltage control, a tuner with both A and C notes, and a stereo headphone amplifier. There's also a clipping LED to help you get the levels right. Up in the VCA section, the input jack is where you insert the audio. Without a control voltage, you have manual control over the amplitude of the signal. When you insert a control voltage, the gain knob becomes an attenuator for the incoming control voltage. Normally you want this gain fairly high for the best signal to noise ratio. In the panning section, we have manual control over the panning to the left and right outputs. When you have a control voltage inserted, whether it's coming from an oscillator, an LFO, or an envelope generator, the knob becomes an attenuator for the control voltage. So all the way to the left would be zero effect, and all the way to the right would be the maximum effect. Now you have a switch here so you can select between unipolar and bipolar control voltages controlling the panning. Unipolar would be a signal like comes from an envelope generator, which is zero to five volts and bipolar would be a signal that would come from, for example, the Q106 oscillator, which is plus and minus five volts. The left and right outputs are mono outputs, and the left output has a clipping indicator, and this helps you set the levels. If you start seeing the flicker here on the LED, then you know you're getting close to the clipping level. At any time, you can turn the A and C tuner on, and that will go to the outputs so that you can hear that and, along with your notes and adjust your tuning accordingly. The A is 440 hertz and the C is 523 hertz. You have a stereo output jack and a volume control for that. Always start at zero and creep up on the volume so that, uh, for safe levels. So this is a stereo output and this can go also to a stereo input of a DAW or a sound system. Okay, we're going to patch our sound system into the left and right outputs. In this case, we're going to have manual control over the panning. So here is the left channel and center and the right channel. Okay, so now we can voltage control that with an LFO. This is going to be a bipolar LFO, so we're going to flip the switch to the bipolar mode. Now when there's a control voltage inserted in here, the knob becomes an attenuator for the control voltage. So when we're all the way down here at zero, the control voltage has no effect on the panning. When it's turned all the way up, then we have a complete 100% effect of the control voltage over the panning. So we're gonna start at zero, and we have an LFO going very slow. We'll add that in here. So there's an example of voltage controlled panning. Now this could be also from an envelope generator so that when you press a key, the panning sweeps from left to right. Uh, if you're using an envelope generator, that'll be a unipolar signal, so flip that switch up into the unipolar mode. Uh, let's look at our tuner now. Uh, let's do a C. And an A. So that's our tuner, that's very convenient. And don't forget, we've got a headphone amplifier, and you should always start at zero, plug your headphones in here. Now the way to deal with the headphones is to start at zero and play your notes and gradually increase the level till you get something that is safe, a safe operating level. Uh, it's even best to put your headphones around your neck uh, to get the right levels.
Enjoy. <laughs>